Hey everybody, this is TJR, and now it is time for a review of the Blu-ray release of Twin Peaks, the limited event series, or season three, or the return, as some people are calling it. It is also available on DVD. I got the Blu-ray version. I want to make it perfectly clear, this is not a review of the series. This is a review of the Blu-ray slash DVD, and that means talking about the various bonus features that were featured on this set. The first thing I want to talk about is how this is packaged. Now, I have to admit, I was very impressed with how the set for the original Twin Peaks series, plus the movie Fire Walk With Me, was packaged, where you had this sort of cut opening here. You have, of course, the, the prom picture, and then underneath is the dead Laura Palmer. And I was impressed with how this opened up uh, like this, as like a box here. And there were all these panels and layers that you would dig through to get to the different discs. When you got to the bottom, there was this little jagged slip of paper uh, with the words Fire Walk With Me scrawled onto it. Uh, I thought this was an impressive package. And, well, maybe not quite as impressive. I was still very impressed with how this was packaged. So uh, here is the front cover. Here is the back cover. And this is actually the little slip that is adhered onto it, but it's the same thing right here. This is what I refer to as the golden Laura Palmer. And here, when you look at the front here, you've got a similar aspect where you've got like this cut jagged edge here, just like the, um, not unlike the, the floor of the Red Room. And of course you've got the good coupe and the evil coupe. And we saw this of course when we looked at it on Amazon. Uh, but when you open it, this is what happens. Now you have the three coopers. You have evil coupe, you have Dale Cooper, and you have Dougie Coop here in the middle. And so this opens up like this. And then, here it is like that, just that edge there. And then, of course, you pull it out from here. And here, there's the rest of the slipcase. Then you have this here. Here's that jagged motif that you get with the Red Room. And this opens up here two ways, and then four ways, and then even, whoo! longer, five ways. Now all of these discs comprise the entire series, but on the island, I've got it upside down too. There we go. All of these discs here comprise the entire series. But however, you, and of course you do have a disc here in the front. And then on the back here, you also have another disc that's gold. And I'll get into this in just a moment here. Let me just fold this up real quick. Now this set features eight discs, and there are bonus features on some of the discs, not all the discs, but then there is an eighth disc that is all bonus features, and I'll, I'll like I said before, I'll get to that one in a moment. First of all, all of the uh, discs, when you insert each Blu-ray disc in, you get a different uh, menu sequence, a different uh, menu uh, scenes. This was also done on the original one too. So I thought it was cool because a lot of times you get a, a Blu-ray series or on, on um, DVD or Blu-ray and each disc has the exact same menu layout. I liked how they changed it up with each disc uh, when, with that set and of course this set as well. So let me talk a little bit about the bonus features. Overall, I will say I am terribly pleased with the bonus features on this set. In the past, I've talked about how more and more we're seeing kind of anemic Blu-ray features and DVD bonus features for both motion pictures and television. It's a lot of back padding, everybody telling everybody how great they were, that sort of thing, and a lot of fluff. I'm happy to say that the fluff is kept down to a bare minimum. Let's start with disc one. First, we get the series promos. These were the very short little films that were used to promote the coming of the series uh, that were aired on Showtime prior to it being released. I hadn't seen all of these. It was fun to see them all. I remember at the time being a bit frustrated when I did watch them because they didn't really show me much of anything. I do enjoy the one that has Angelo Badalamente uh, playing at the keyboard, the main theme, while we see sort of the montage of the four superimposed. I thought that was an effective promo, even though it didn't really show us anything. And only David Lynch would do a promo where all you see is Gordon Cole eating a donut for the entire promotion. Now, after that is a short uh, three-part mini-doc entitled Phenomenon. 
and these were produced by Showtime. Uh, part one is the creation, dealing with the genesis of the series. Uh, part two is called Life After Death, uh, dealing how, detailing, I should say, how Twin Peaks fandom kept the show alive during all these years. And then part three is called Renaissance, which looks a little bit at the announcement of the return of the series. But what is really interesting about this one is it looks at the art that has been created over the years uh, by legitimate artists who are doing art based on Twin Peaks. And we're, this, we're talking graphic art, and we're talking performance art, a tremendous amount of artistic output, and all of it very high quality. It does also take a look at the reaction from fandom once it was announced that the show would be coming back. I get the feeling that these were all aired on Showtime as promo leading up to the new series. However, this is the first time that I've ever seen any of them, and it, they were fun to watch. Disc 2 features the entire Twin Peaks 2017 Comic-Con panel. I started to watch some of this on YouTube some months back and got distracted and couldn't finish it. I'm glad I could finally watch the entire thing on this set. It's a very enjoyable panel. And this panel takes place right around the halfway point of the series. Half of it had already been aired, half of it hadn't been. And so there's some interesting uh, comments by the cast and the moderator, and there are questions from the audience as well. I'll be honest, I'm a fan, I love fans, I love my fellow fans, but sometimes fans don't always ask the best of questions. And Al just won't say any more than that. Mm -hmm. But it's preserved for you here in all its naked glory. Now, we don't get any more bonus features until we get to Disc 7, and this opens off with a little featurette entitled A Very Lovely Dream, One Week in Twin Peaks. This particular uh, bonus feature takes a look at some of the shoots that were done in Twin Peaks, the actual, you know, the city where it was shot in. And I think this is a great little feature because you, you have seen these scenes already, but now you get to step back behind the camera and see them from the point of view of the crew and the cast. And all of these uh, scenes include narration by uh, Kyle MacLachlan, Mark Frost, and other members of the cast and production crew. Now after that, there is another uh, series of two short films entitled, uh, one entitled, I should say, Behind the Red Curtain, and the other one entitled, I Had a Bad Milk in Derridan. Now hopefully I said that right. These are both behind-the-scenes films shot by Richard Boehmer, best known as Ben Horn in the series. Now, these two films have really no narration, just a little uh, written uh, introduction by uh, Richard Boehmer, and then you just see these films that he has shot uh, throughout uh, the filming, mostly of the Red Room and a couple of other location scenes, and just kind of a point of view filming, once again, stepping back from scenes you've already watched, but now you're seeing it from the point of view of the crew and, and the director as well. After that, we uh, get the Rancho Rosa logos. I'll bet you didn't know they, they had pretty much a different closing logo for the Rancho Rosa production um, for each and every episode. I'll bet you didn't know that. I didn't know it until I watched this particular bonus feature. Don't know how many times you're going to be able to rewatch this particular one. And I'm not sure that any of us really knew we wanted this bonus feature until we finally saw it. But it was a fun little bonus feature. Now, this brings us to Disc 8. Disc 8 is nothing but bonus features. This disc features 10 short mini docs, each about 30 minutes in length. So roughly, this is about close to five hours of material. This entire disc is entitled Impressions, A Journey Behind the Scenes of Twin Peaks. And then there's it's broken up once again into 10 30-minute segments, each with its own title. I'm not going to get into the titles here. But let me talk about this for a moment. These little shorts each have some rather strange narration that opens and closes and seeps in here and there. I'm not sure what the point of that part was. I won't even venture to guess. But otherwise, this is very similar to the Richard Boehmer films, where, once again, we're seeing... The same scenes we've seen in the series, but now we're stepping back. 
And sometimes we see the actual scenes that we've seen being acted out by the actors in real time. But once again, we're stepping back. We're there from the point of view of the cast and crew. We're watching David Lynch talk to the crew. We're watching him direct the actors for these scenes, uh, sometimes before they actually start to act them out, and then we see them act them out. This footage features no narration, just everyone at work on the set of the series with director David Lynch at the center of it all. And this footage follows him throughout every city that the series was shot in. And I'll be honest, I'm hard pressed to find an aspect of the series that wasn't in some way covered. We see them shooting pretty much everything, um, right down to, you know, Dale Cooper, you know, doing that, that free fall that he does, um, you know, the scenes where the, the, the mother monster, whatever you want to call it, um, you know, attacks the young couple in episode one, um, just a tremendous uh, amount of, of coverage on this. And I'll tell you, usually these types of bonus features have narration and someone telling you, okay, well, this is how we did this. This film doesn't do that. This just shows you. It just shows you them doing it. I have to admit that these scenes, this footage and the Richard Bamer footage is in my opinion, some of the best behind the scenes documentary footage, bonus feature footage that I have ever seen. One thing that I have learned from watching these behind the scenes shots is that there are some directors out there who let their actors ad lib and uh, want to see what they might bring into the mix. You know, let's just live dangerously. Uh, but for the most part, David Lynch knows exactly what he wants. Um, and he gives very specific directions to his actors. And from what I can gather, there is no ad-libbing of lines. I remember one uh, sequence where he is directing Kyle MacLachlan and Laura Dern uh, during the love scene that takes place near the end of the series. And he gives them very specific moment-by-moment -moment instructions on how to play this love scene. Uh, it's, it's really fascinating. I don't want to give away too much, but I will say that never before has any Blu-ray slash DVD behind the scenes features made me feel more like I was there during the production of this series or film or whatever. Uh, nothing has ever made me feel more like this than it has on this set. Once again, this is not a review of the series. This is a review of the Blu-ray DVD release and the bonus features. To sum up, I will say this set features some of the best behind the scenes production bonus features that I have ever had the chance to experience on a Blu-ray or DVD. You probably will walk away still not having any more understanding than you did before of what the whole series was about but you will certainly have a great understanding of how they made it. This is TJR, so did you pick this up? What did you think? Please share your comments, good or bad. As always, I wanna thank you so much for watching and please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And don't forget to hit notifications so you can know when I release more videos. Thanks everybody, take care, bye-bye.